Hey guys, Trudy here from It's a True Story. And once again, we're sheltering in place. And so I have, I'm lucky enough to be here with Gabby, who is the involuntary vegan. And so for today, we had this really good brainstorm. First of all, we decided to make breakfast for dinner last night. And then it morphed into an entire idea because bread. Because in this whole COVID thing, if you're lucky enough to be sheltering in place and not be in a state of need, which our hearts go out to anybody who is in that state, um, you might be just making a lot of bread. So much bread. And so, bread. so much bread. And so what we decided to do is a really quick recipe, but a spin on an old classic. We're bringing to you a dairy-free version of uh, French toast. More up my alley than our last meal for people who have intolerances or allergies. This is a more friendly version to those people with substitutions for things like butter and whole milk with coconut milk and coconut oil. Assuming you have all that stuff in your house. Now, if you don't, you can make old fashioned uh, French toast. You know, that's just like butter's delicious, and I'm butter sure. and all that <laughs> stuff. But we're just doing a different fun spin because we have stuff like coconut milk or almond milk. We have things like agave instead of maple syrup. Hemp hearts, out? chia seeds. Hemp hearts, chia seeds. Flax seeds that we had to throw away because yeah. we didn't refrigerate them. Yeah, like stuff that you're kind of like, again, stuff that may be sitting in your pantry that's like, hmm, I know I bought that for a good reason and for to be a little healthier, but now I don't know what I'm doing with it. So we're gonna give you this fun recipe that Gabby has invented and um, Seriously, this is the easiest recipe of all time. It took me like 10 minutes last night to do. We already had half of a can of coconut milk because I tried this recipe last night. So that has already been poured into the bowl. Into the bowl. Now we're just gonna take about a teaspoon of all of our ingredients that we have. So we're gonna start with the chia seeds. We're just gonna take about a teaspoon of chia seeds. And also everything in this recipe is so easily modified with how much bread that you're using. So really everything is just to eye about how much you think you'll need. Yeah, I'm like one of those peasant cooking people. Like I never measure and neither does Gabby really. I never measure I ever. Neither. So this is just for fun and sport. We're showing a measuring, but we think everything's about a teaspoon. We're just about, we did hemp parts, chia seeds. Now we're just gonna take a little, probably three dashes of cinnamon. I was a little, a little bit more, but that's okay. Yeah, cinnamon's really good for you. Now we put in our vanilla. Now we're gonna take a tiny little bit of salt, sprinkle it in there, and then we're just gonna take a fork and mix it all together. So, Super easy. We're just taking a fork and mixing it all together. And then, once that is all mixed, we're gonna take one slice of our bread that's not crumbling at all right now, <laughs> and just soak it for about, I'd say probably like two minutes on each side. You also can see if it gets super, super soggy, you probably wanna flip this side. But meanwhile, people have their own recipes. Like my dad tried to convince me that the only way to make French toast is to soak the bread overnight. So if you want a labor intensive version, one that you have to prep, you know what? I say try my dad's recipe. Um, I'm doing a little coconut oil spray instead of butter because we're trying to be heart healthy here. So, or some kind of healthy. Is that even healthy? I'm gonna put a little bit more cinnamon just on top because I think it's almost done and ready to be on the griddle. Okay, I think we're ready to move it onto the, the griddle. Let's take it in. Yeah, see, we're making it bite size. So, <laughs> in your, in your for kids. if you're saving the world from your couch and you really don't want to exert that much energy, now you it's already in a bite size now. So, that basically took up most of our mixture. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of everything else to redo it for that beautiful piece sitting right there. So we have one masterpiece looking French toast. Okay, starting with a new can of coconut milk. Got a, a little sprinkle, some chia seeds. And right now it's on about medium to low heat if anyone is wondering, just so that it doesn't burn. We're gonna soak this beautiful piece right here. So and while this side is soaking, we're gonna flip our first piece. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna give I get to do the honors. <laughs> but I will hold the side of the pan. It's always fun to cook with a friend. They can hold your pan while you're flipping. It sounds vaguely romantic. Probably could have given it a little bit more time, but I like to flip it over a few times just because I'm not that good at telling when it needs to be flipped. 
that's okay. Because yeah. home without, cooks like us, you got to make do, you know? Without eggs. Like, that is one thing. Okay, so Gabby, so you don't, we don't have eggs in this mixture, but it is kind of thick because usually eggs are sort of the thickening piece of Yeah, bind it all pie. together a little. And we've added stuff in there that can replicate the protein too, right? Like the hemp seeds or the totally, chia seeds. Totally, totally. Okay, this piece of bread is really thick, so we're going all the sides. We're, we're flipping it around. Okay, so this beautiful jumbo piece of French toast, I think is about ready to go on the griddle. That's how you know it's gonna be a good piece of French toast, yeah. right there. Yes, That's, it is. The first time oh, that's a fire. <laughs> the first time was like the first pancake. Like you never really get it right. That's so Gabs, how long would you say it takes to cook a piece of this lovely French toast? I think when you can start to see the browning on the edges around like the bottom, that's when I would flip it. And then you can just flip it back and forth until it looks ready to you and it mm -hmm. tastes good. First of all, it smells amazing. Second of all, it looks amazing. Second now time's a charm. <laughs> second time is a charm. And I think, Gabby, I'll, have, I'll give you the honors of taking it off and preparing it for me to eat the entire thing by myself. Beautiful. Ah. Beautiful. With a beautiful French toast like this, if we don't have maple syrup, you can use beautiful agave. If you have any frozen fruit, Literally, you just put it on top, and the warmness of the French toast will melt the frozen fruit. I did this with blueberries last night. It was delicious. And then I'm gonna eat it in your face. Mm. How is it? Amazing. That is amazing. And speaking of amazing, you're amazing. I wanna thank you guys for tuning in for a little more quarantine cooking. And uh, you know what, if you like what we're doing here, please like, subscribe. I'm gonna put all of Gabby's information for the Involuntary Vegan. You can find her on Instagram um, and many other places. It'll all be down in the, in the um, description. And just wanna thank you guys and we'll see you next time. If you have any other ideas, comment down below what we should make next. Yes, and we'll see you soon. Bye.